The president will find in our new majority the voice of the American people as they've expressed it tonight. Standing on principle, checking Washington's power, and leading the drive to a smaller, less costly, and more accountable government here in Washington, D.C. He likes the microphones. Tomorrow, or even now, the stories are being written about what this election is about. What does it mean? We, don't still, we still don't know all the results from around this country. But we know that tonight, the power in the United States House of Representatives will change hands. We know tonight that a growing number of Republicans will now serve in the Senate as well. And we make a grave mistake if we believe that tonight these results are somehow an embrace of the Republican Party. What they are is a second chance. A second chance for Republicans to be what they said they were going to be not so long ago. You see, I learned early on in this campaign, in fact, it's what propelled me to enter it, that what this race was about was about the great future that lies ahead for our country, a future that Americans know is there for the taking. But it requires actions on our part. Americans believe with all their heart the vast majority of them, and the vast majority of Floridians, that the United States of America is simply the single greatest nation in all of human history. We've got to end the, the threats of the excessive government regulation and the huge out of control role that Washington has begun to play. We've got to get spending under control because we can't borrow and spend our way to prosperity. And we ought to make the 2003 tax cuts permanent for everybody. I will always tell you the truth, whether it benefits me or not. And I will always commit myself, heart and soul, to making our state the very best it can be. challenges and I am invigorated by the confidence that you have placed in me. I ask for your prayers and your continued support. We have a lot of work to do. But without those prayers, we would have never gotten here today. And your continued support and your continued prayers will continue to give us the energy that we need to move our state forward and make it the top of the good lists and the bottom of the bad lists because that's where we belong. economic freedom, individual liberty, and personal responsibility. Listen, I hold these values dear because I've lived them. I've spent my whole life chasing the American dream. I that love you know I started out mopping floors, waiting tables, and tending bar at my dad's cabin. I put my myself through school, working every rotten job there was, and uh, in every night shift I could find. And I poured my heart and soul into running a small business. <laughs> And when I saw how out of touch Washington had become with the core values of this great nation, I put my name forward and ran for office. So I want to thank uh, my wife, Debbie, my girls, Lindsay and Tricia, uh, my 11 brothers and sisters, and all my friends and neighbors in Ohio for giving me the chance to serve and the opportunity to stand before you 
ready to leave. Thank all of you. God bless you, and God bless our great country.